okay, do not eat commercial food. This is milk and this is school glue. Hey, what's good, it's your boy Wolfie, AKA Charles. <laughs> And today, your boy is back to do a DIY for your fucking head top. I haven't done this in a minute, but DA. Low key, my neighbors hate me, the people above me. Absolutely almost evicted me out of my apartment, but we're all good. I've been seeing something all over Instagram and Twitter and I needed to try it out because this is like literally my specialty. Okay, I'm the DIY God, you guys already know that. But today, <laughs> we are going to be testing TV commercial food hacks. In every commercial, the food always looks like delicious. Like it makes you just want to eat it. I know that's the point of commercials, okay? It makes sense. As you can see in these commercials, these products, no shade to any of the companies or any of the products or any of the food that they're showing, they don't look like that when you get them from the store or wherever you get them from. If you get them from a fast food place, wherever, they just don't look like that. Not to say that they're not delicious, but these commercial burgers do not look like the actual burgers that you get from the store. So we're kind of doing an expectations versus reality food edition, but I'm gonna show you guys how they do it. I got Bongo on the camera today. Here. Here. <laughs> Without further ado, we're gonna get into the first food hack. No, what's up? In okay. one of these big bugs. First one we're gonna be doing is cereal. So I went to the store and I picked up a random cereal. Used to f with these so much as a kid until then you just had a little bit of frosting on the one side and it's like, this is definitely not enough frosting because I'm a kid and all I want is sugar. These are kind of old. Please sponsor me and then you're delicious and you're not old anymore. So one of these bowls is gonna have the edible version and then one of them is gonna have the unedible version. I have to say this guys, please do not eat this stuff, okay? Do not eat commercial food. It's very hazardous. This is dangerous like it's not edible so if you're eating cereal you know it's kind of light you're just gonna open the cereal like anyone normal would do now you're gonna go here oh, no you guys wanted knife wolfie not alive so you're gonna get knife wolfie your boy is back then you're gonna actually open it the regular way because that did shit off Okay, oh wait, actually this, this is a very big question. What do you guys do? Comment down below. Do you put the milk in before the cereal? Or do you put the cereal before in the milk? Cause if you put the milk in before the cereal, you're weird. That makes zero sense. So we're gonna pour, you know, a few of these in there. Obviously you're gonna need liquid for it. So what do you use to eat cereal? Bless, same thing. No. What are you doing? What do you mean? We're on diets. No, no, no. What do you, what do you mean, bro? You use Is that water. water? Now? Yeah, yeah. Put the water in the cereal. No. And there you go. You have a meal. You thought of actually eating that? You <laughs> played yourself. I'm not touching that. So I actually put a lot in there. Now we're gonna grab the milk. He needs some milk. He needs it. Oh, he needs no. some milk. Let it fill up to about here. So we're gonna flip a few of these around. We wanna show the part that the kids like, which is definitely the sugary part, like so. And then last but not least, just to make it look like it's not like you're eating something unhealthy, fruits. Like blueberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that is breakfast. Typical, you guys would probably eat that. I would eat that. Yeah, it looks pretty vabs. Yeah, I could wake up like seven, eight a.m., eat that before a little school. Not but. But what if I told you that commercials use glue instead of milk? No. Because it's not a see-through, it's permanently white, a bright white, and it holds them in their place. The bowl is really deep, so you'd need a lot of glue, but there's a hack, because if you want all this stuff to sit on the top, you see how it's like kind of sinking in there? We're gonna need to fill the bowl up with something, and that something is Jello. Shout out pretty much for just dropping the song Jello. You guys already know what it is. So what do we do? Three, two, one, here. Okay, now we got a bowl full of orange Jello. The Jello is the key thing, because when you put stuff on it, it will not sink. So now, we are gonna grab our second ingredient of today, Elmer's School Glue. Everybody knows this because I've probably done like a thousand DIYs with this. Basically, we are going to load up, yeah, that's glue, this Jello with glue. You wanna spread it evenly. This is probably gonna be a bit to clean, so I'm sorry in advance, bowl. So we're just gonna oh, we're already looking like swish it around. And low key, that already looks like kind of milk, but kind of yogurty, which is flames, to be honest. Kind of us. So now, instead of just pouring them out, we're gonna pick the best ones that we see have the most sugar. This one didn't make the cut. So we are gonna place it right here on an angle so it's like realistic. Vibes. That's vibes. That's vibes. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on like we're two up words. To something. And here, you still need to use the blueberries. So we're just gonna take a few blueberries like this, maybe eight. Yeah, all right. Bye. Eight's good enough. And last but not least, somehow we need to dig this into the corner. Okay, that? And it stays. It doesn't tilt to the side, bro. You know when you put a spoon in yeah. and it goes, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not a thug one in there. Back. So Whoa. we have. Oh, that's my 
Oh, the difference between these two are crazy. Bro, this is milk and this is school glue. Like what the heck, how, how are commercials using school glue? This is insane. I can't even believe it. So Look that is different. hack number one. It doesn't look as good. No, <laughs> it doesn't look as good. No. So out of 10, I'm gonna give this one like honestly a five. Yeah. I mean, bro, if you were to show this on a commercial, no one's buying. No copying. one's buying. No one's copying. No one's but if you're, if you're showing this. Bro, this looks like, crazy. Are you dumb, are you? dumb, 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 stupid? You're buying that one, come on. 100%. But yo, we are going to do something that involves beer, okay? Quick little disclaimer, do not drink if you're underage, that's obvious. So, I went to the store and I picked up a few Coronas. Obviously, if there's Coronas on the scene, I have to give a huge shout out to my boys. No! You guys already know, it's a full scenting. Quick little hack, you have one Corona. I don't really drink, I've never done that, but you can open one Corona with another Corona, so you don't even need a bottle opener. So in the first cup, this is the regular cup. There's a certain way you're supposed to pour beer. It makes a little bit of foam. Now with beer advertisements in general is that there's like a little bit of head at the top and the head is just the foam, the white foam. You don't want too much, but you also don't want too little. So we're just going to pour it aggressively so that it stays while I can show you this experiment. So I'm just gonna put this here and just pour, 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 pour. I'm just trying to get more head at the top. Honestly, not terrible because That's not it's gonna happened. start sinking. That was a fast pour, but I needed to go like that. Beer number two in commercials. Yeet. The way that they get the foam to stay, because if I just let this sit, as you guys can see, the foam is low key already starting to like disintegrate. So like it's going away. So there's like a timer on right now. But in commercials, if you don't want the foam to move, what is one thing that keeps foam? Like soap. And what better soap to use than soap that already looks like the color of a Corona. The thing about soap though is that it's super potent, so you don't want to use too much soap, but we're going to open this little quick and put a little drop pause. I'm going to put this on its side now and pour the same amount of beer. Oh, it is foamy. Foam eyes. Holy. Bro, literally Holy. going to the brim. Holy. I wouldn't drink that, but it's soapy. So as you guys can see, okay, this is the, look, the foam's almost gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the no soap version and now we have the one with the soap included and you can see that the foam on the top, it's not moving. And it looks way more carbonated. It looks hella carbonated, bro, and it's just not moving. Yeah, fuck. So, it's just there. This stuff is sinking. This stuff is like host yeah, on the top. Holy, that's and a it, vibe. Yeah, it's just the same bubble. So obviously, this looks dumb appealing. The color changed a little bit, but not noticeable. this still looks like beer. Yeah. Like if I took away this one, if I showed you that, you'd be like, all right, bro, it's a beer. That's a beer. I get it. So this soap and beer hack has worked. So that's low key. Two for two that worked. I understand why commercials do them now. I want to definitely pour this one out. Funny thing about my sink is that it's in my fridge. No. And I would hate to waste things, you know what I mean? So like, that one's just gotta get poured out. Cause we don't drink, so like, that's old. Uh, that's, uh, that is old. Success on number two. Let's move on to the third DIY hack. The next one involves these lovely chocolate chip cookies and a lot of advertisements, what they do to make the cookie look even more appealing. There's a lot of people like whipped cream. They put the cookies on the plate, regular, basic, basic. I just picked up some chocolate chip cookies that look pretty decent. Took up a three stack right there. Okay, We're also gonna need a three stack for the advertiser friendly plate. I'm gonna ship these in this box. I'm gonna give these to Ryan because unlike one of us, one of us doesn't like to go on the diets and actually hold true. So Ryan, expect those in the mail tomorrow. I'm gonna fucking express to ship them to you. So we need one thing, whipped cream. But yo, you're gonna see what I'm talking about. It like de-inflates, so I'm gonna shake it up good. This is brand new, still not cracked. I don't know how to open it. Oh, there we go. Bring this off, recycle that. We're gonna recycle that. Always recycle plastic. There's like a, it's crazy. My garbage works some crazy way. It like can organize this shit. Like, you know how like coins go down. It's, it's just like one goes down one shoe, the other shoe. You guys know the deal, I mean. Take the whipping creams. Make sure it works. Oh yeah, that works. Actually, it works. All right. Will, we're gonna just do a quick little icing cake decoration. Okay, that's kind of a vibe. Oh. Okay, stop. No, come on. <laughs> okay, yo, the execution at the end was really bad, but yo, that looks like a vibe. Kind of looks like a vibe. Looks like a vibe. All right. The thing is, after about five minutes of sitting there, it won't look like a vibe. So I'm, I'm gonna show you that after, but in the meantime, I'm gonna put this whipped cream away. And guys, comment down below what you think I'm gonna use for the other product. I'll give you a little hint. In one, we use soap, and the soap did not move. So if you guys could comment something down below, what do you think we're gonna use? Give you a hint. I didn't give you a hint. Soap is not have anything to do with what we're using. We are gonna use shaving cream. No. Another thing that is not edible. If I have told you once, I'm gonna tell you again. Do not eat this. Shit. 
Okay. Please, please. Use this to shave, that's it. So, and we're gonna do the same technique to this one and we're gonna let them sit and I will come back in a few minutes. So, spray this out. Oh, bro. Dairy Queen, hire me. Well, that's kind of a vibe. Oh. Kind of a vibe! So, this is the commercial one, but this is the previous one. Already you can see that the whipping cream, whipped cream is deflating. Kind of melting. Kind of melting on it. So now, I'm gonna come back in five minutes and show you the results. So, I'll see you like in five minutes. Yay! Okay guys, it has been now about five or six minutes. So this is what the first one looks like. The whipped cream is starting to melt off the side. Literally starting to melt off the side. I don't want to take a longer break because if I did, you guys wouldn't even believe me on where it went. But yo, the second one is still intact with the insane first drip. It has not moved. I think it's safe to say that the shaving cream is the winner in this one. I mean, if I poured a little bit better of like an actual like little spiral, it would have been wavy. So I mean, you guys can see for yourself. And right now I actually got like Chef Bongo in the back of the kitchen, whipping up the next one. What are we making? Like the pancakes. Holy hell. I think that this one is the most insane one because this one blew my mind when I saw it on Instagram. Get ready. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. We have cooked the pancakes. As you guys can see, they look exactly identical. One side, these are clearly the realistic ones and these are the commercial ones. <laughs> because they, I don't know about you guys, this is what the pancakes be looking like when I cook them. Facts. Three stacked on top of each other and then three commercial ones, which we cooked a little bit better <laughs> Paid a little more attention to them, we didn't burn them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Flip, flip that, to, that, flip that to that side. <laughs> Obviously, if you're eating pancakes, two things you need. Shout out to all my Canadians, maple syrup, and then you need butter. We're gonna cut off a nice little square and we want the rounded top, so we're gonna use the end piece. This is how much butter would basically show. And then there's one other thing, which is Aunt Jemima, maple syrup. You guys already know what this is. As a kid, I was definitely one of those guys that used way too much syrup. My mom hates me for that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Especially with the waffle vibes. You know what I mean, bro? I like my pancakes like swimming. swimming. Swimming yeah, in it. Yeah, like they're, they're just trying to swim, 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 swim. So we're gonna do a little nice dress haul. Honestly, I might dummy these. Okay, looking kind of up. Yeah, yeah, we need more. Cause the thing is, yes, we're getting the first pancake soaked. The other three pancakes or however many you have stacked are getting no love. So it needs to swim so you can like cut it open and dip fans. So that is the realistic pancake. What if I told you there's no syrup involved in the commercial ones? No. They don't use syrup. They use motor oil, okay? Uh, Come on. Do not eat this. Do not eat this. It's not edible. But this is just for the purpose of this video. Because one thing about syrup is it shows in the pancake. Okay, you can already see it's getting soaked in there, which is kind of good, but kind of not good because you want it to just flow off the edges. You don't want the pancakes to change color. But before we put the motor oil on, shout out to my boy. This is Knife Wolfie's cousin. Exacto Knife Wolfie. We're gonna use some cardboard. No. So we need two pieces of cardboard in perfect circles. You're not even gonna see it. So we have one piece of cardboard. Kind of a circle vibe. Kind of a tear drop and then one more. Okay, neither of these are circles, but <laughs> they'll work. Believe it or not, on commercials, what they do before they even stack the pancakes is they're gonna take one off here. Don't mind that one, we made it on the griddle. That's why it's on the bottom. We're gonna put one here because as you can see, without it, they're stacked. But with it, it keeps a little separation in between. So now, if we go like this. Oh, it's kind of raised. It's kind of raised. That's a vibe, well that's also a vibe. Believe it or not, they actually do add cardboard. Whether it's thicker than the one I have, they're adding cardboard in there. So, <laughs> the butter comes first. Obviously, we're gonna use a bigger dutty piece because it's the commercial and needs to look wavy. That looks um, wavy. Eat. I'm getting hungry just watching this video. Yeah, see this one, it looks like everything's kind of getting so. It's all molded together, you yeah, don't know what's yeah. going on. No, not really. By the way guys, if you're getting hungry during this video, smash that like button, Back comment down favorite. below, what are you craving? I'm craving pancakes. I don't know about you. One of these days when I'm off the diet, I will be eating pancakes. Until then, I'm shipping these to Ryan. So now we have the motor oil. Yeah, that's definitely motor oil. Yeah, it smells like a car. Same thing goes here. Motor oil. As you can see, it is the same color. But the thing about it is... Oh, kind of vibe. It drips off the sides and does not change the color of the pancakes. Bro, it just drips off. It literally drips. It's like, your, it's like uh, the windshields that you put the shit on. Yeah, and it just yeah. water bounces off, water right? Water bounces Like off. this, I feel like it reflects or deflects water. So it just can't get wet. So because of that, that kind of looks like vibes. Big vibes. I mean, it looks way better than this. Still shiny and everything. Shiny, kind of glossy, absorbed. makes the color better. This one, kind of shiny, kind of absorbed. That one's kind of cool. All I gotta say about this, we have one final step. Like, bone appetite, my friend. That one, it, bro, nothing's getting absorbed. Get no. a close up on this shit. Yeah. Like that, smells like Absolutely. It smells like a car, but it doesn't matter because in the commercials, 
We probably have five or ten years before this happens. You can't smell what you're seeing on TV because that's gonna be lethal if that happens. Because I'm buying pizza every day if that happens. But for now, voila! Go ahead and eat this one, Mongo. Actually, it is very appetizing, but the fact that I know it's motor oil, it's different. <laughs> it's like old. Yeah. yeah. But yo, it looks way better still. So far, I don't know how many we've done. I think we've done four. We are four for four. I'm gonna throw these out before we move into the next one because I am starting to pass out with the smell. All right, I'll see you guys. So for the next hack, this one is very simple. We're making baked potatoes. This one they go to ultimate lengths just to show the steam on the baked potatoes It's like the key thing because it shows it's warm It makes you want to eat it because you're like oh god this delicious like soft goodness is amazing So I have two potatoes pretty much the same potato They're similar and these are the easy bakers So all I have to do because these ones are microwave ready even though I would never cook them in the microwave If I actually had time for the sake of the video we could put them in the microwave So I'm gonna open these the instruction says okay, that's too many instructions I'm just gonna throw these in the microwave and I'll be back. All right, so it's been about 15 minutes I put these in the microwave. These are what the baked potatoes are looking like. They are extremely hot, so I'm not even gonna touch them with my fingers. I actually am a huge, 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 huge fan of baked potatoes. Like twice baked potatoes though? Jeez, it's a wrap. That's one. Hey, bad. Same thing with the other one. These are actually not bad for just a microwave thing. No, no, no. Are you done? And if you get a good look at these potatoes, there is steam coming off of them. If you wanna exaggerate how much steam there is, we're gonna cut both of these open. This one we're gonna cut right down the middle. Right down the middle. Which, which, which middle should I do? I don't know. I swear in the restaurants they do vertical. I so. think, yeah, yeah. I'm they do vertical good. in the yeah, restaurants. Yeah. No, they crack it open. Okay, some steam effect coming through. Little steam effect, little steam effect. Little steam. Same with this one. Okay. Probably gonna fog the camera screen a bit. It's steaming up both. And then look at this, bro. This is what they look like inside. The skin stays intact, but the inside you want to be like mosh up. Okay. So, we have two big potatoes now. This is not part of the plan, but on my baked potatoes, personally, I like cheese. Gonna take some of this cheese, sprinkle it here. Now, there is one step, actually two steps we're missing. One step I guarantee you guys will never guess unless you've seen the video. First step is we have a black Bristol board for the background because when you put this on the black Bristol board, you will see the smoke way better. So what we're gonna do with this Bristol board is we're gonna take it and we are going to fold it up like so. And as you guys can see, it shows a little bit better because it's on a black background, okay? Big facts, big so just just take that in. Let's rate that from one to 10. How much steam do you see? Um, honestly, I'm gonna say about a one or a two. One or a two. Okay, yeah, one or a two, I agree. There's only one way to get the smoke. And I don't know why this is the way, but I had to go into the store and I had to buy tampons. No. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, let's say, three tampons. I'm gonna save these for my next period. Now, I have boiled some water. I have literally that steam. And the thing about tampons, they were built to literally absorb liquid. We're gonna put this in here and just peep this. Like very satisfying, low key. Holy. Oh. Holy jeez. Like crazy. Big vibes. So we're gonna put that on the first plate and let it chill there for a second and do the same with the other two. The next step, we are just using the tampons for the steam because they keep the heat and still smoke. And we're gonna put the third one back there. This is a little too much because you're clearly seeing tampon now. No, you can't. But now we took the steam effect to a nice 10. Bro, that's a vibe. I don't know whose idea it was. I don't know, literally, I just wanna know. This Bro, is like, look at this. This egg, is like right? the, the, this ate egg the egg first egg? egg, bro. Wait, like this? Is it wavy? You can't even see. And it's smoky. And it's smoky. So it's, it's way more vibe. satisfied to eat. But then when you look at it, on top this way you see yeah, three that, three hot tampons ew, ew, ew. so it's kind of kind of gross but ew, yo ew. that is number five out of five every single hack today has worked we have one more hack to do but that compared to this i mean come on like, yeah i feel like the smoke just adds so much that we don't even think about but, but who thought of it let's go in let's go in and uh so for the last hack today, we are going to be doing something that everybody loves to eat. Just for the pure fact of this video, we're doing ice cream. The problem with ice cream is that ice cream melts when it's outside. So unless you're taking it in the Arctic, you're out. So we're making unmeltable ice cream. I picked up strawberry, not, not a fan of strawberry ice cream. And I also picked up some ice cream cups. These are ice cream cones. I don't know why they're called cups, but uh, this guy's actually kind of wavy because he's coming out of the bottom of the cup. No oh, vibes. I don't know the marketing scheme behind that, but to each his own. So now we're gonna open these up. Make sure none of these are broken. The top one is cracked, so that one can go to the side. We're good with that one, and we need one more that's not cracked. We're gonna go with this one. Vibes. Vibes. I wish I had an ice cream scoop, scoop. but <laughs> we're gonna scoop that. Shout out Blueface, you guys already know. Scoop. Dig that in there because we need something to rest on, and we are gonna grab one more scoop. 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 It's kinda looking like a vibe. It is kinda looking like a vibe. And we're gonna pack it down because it's kinda gotta look a little more vibey. And I'm gonna leave this on a plate. For some weird reason, I feel like this is gonna melt. <laughs> 
Take a look at this ice cream, Vabs. Vabs. We're already running out of time though, because it's, already melting. it's melting. So we're gonna put the second one there and DIY ourselves some ice cream, except the funny thing is there's no actual ice cream in here. So what we're gonna do, we have a bowl here and we're gonna add a bunch of ingredients. The first ingredient is Crisco, AKA shortening. This is gonna be like the buttery substance that does not move because it's this shit. It's not melting, this oh, stuff. Come on. It's not moving. Grab this. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Second ingredient in the ice cream. We get to reuse one of the ingredients we used before. It's supposed to be golden syrup, but we got maple syrup. Same difference. But this is mainly for low key the texture. It's gonna give it the little bit of glistening that we need. So we're gonna mix this around right here. And it already kind of looks like ice cream. We don't have the color yet. We need pink. We need a little pink. So now we got the food coloring. No. How do you make pink? You need a little, little, little bit of red. That's it? That's it. A little Actually, you're, bit you're a genius, red. low key, because I was about to ask Siri how to make pink. No. <laughs> Thought it was like low key gray and blacks. Just a one drop, that's it, that's good. We'll reassess it in a second. And now mix it like soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like some strawberry vibe. Oh, look at the vibe. Strawberry vibe. This is actually turning out way better. This is the regular ice cream? This, this is, is what like I got. Fake ice cream. Like, I'm actually aged. Like from far away, you know those guys? So now we're gonna do the same process. We're gonna stuff this. Oh, that kind of looks like a vibe. It's got the glistening. It is pink. That's it's, insane. It is pink, bro. It's the, it's the exact same. That's actually crazy. Low key, it's a little unappetizing because of the shape. Uh huh. But once we pat it down with one more scoop, you know, scoop, scoop. That's the best we're gonna get today because yeah, I don't yeah. have an I don't have an ice cream scoop. This is the final product. So let's get a good look at this. Right, this is the real one, and the key thing you need to realize about the real one, you can see the dripping. Big. The drip. dripping is gonna continue. The dripping is more drippy than this. Drip too hard. Okay, the drip the, the drip is dripper than drip. This. Okay. The dripper is dripper than Lil Baby himself. No. Dripper is dripper than Quavo's fing hand. Okay, so it's it's pretty drippy. Thing about this one is it doesn't drip. So you have unlimited time to get the nice picture you want, but you can't eat it unless you're mud. Because realistically, it's just Crisco food coloring, which is edible, and syrup, which is also edible. This one just, I don't recommend eating it. So the final one is also successful. So there you guys go. But the thing is, there's so many more that I just couldn't fit into this video. So if you want to see more, or if you know something that I do not know, comment them down below. Smash the like button if you want to see another one. The DIY God is back. Knife Wolfie, Exacto Knife Wolfie, AKA Charles, on me is on Spotify. Go stream it right now. Almost at a melee. Get us to a million right now, Wolfam. Hurry up. Play it, play it a billion times. Play it again. Play it again like no sports. Jeez. I feel like that's a Canadian joke. Yeah. I love you guys so much. Shout out to Bongo for filming this. Go subscribe to his channel. Here. All right. <laughs> I'll leave a link to his channel in the description. I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I know you guys have been wanting one of these so bad. And get ready for my next music video that's dropping probably in a one, two week. So stay tuned for that. The song's dumb. And other than that, I will see you guys soon on more Wolf where we stay a little bit more savage on my main channel. And as always, Ha, stay savage. Let go.